from? Where, where are you from? I am Japan. You're from Japan? You're from Japan? Yeah! Okay, I'm from like an actual. Oh, yeah. I, I am from United States. United States? Like, actually. I mean, all of them. America! Yes. America? Yes, America. <laughs> Make a hamburger country! Nice, 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 nice! <laughs> Welcome back everyone to the Otaku Collective. feel like it's been a while since I've made a post, even though I think I just made one recently, but I've been so busy with some work projects that I just haven't had any time to focus on the channel, but we are back now, and I've got something special for y'all today. So, let's take a look at what we got in the mail. Alright, so as you can see here, we've got another box from the UPS. This time... We got some magic product in here, and I just wanted to show, just to let everyone know that, you know, I didn't open this beforehand, everything's still taped up, and I just wanted to show, you know, that I got this from King's Games, it came from Brooklyn, New York, it looks like, and if there was any funny business... I just wanted to catch that on camera. Now, whether I do or do not, I'm still gonna open the product. If anything, either way, it makes for a video. Of course, I don't want to get hosed, but just to let the rest of y'all know or be aware, you know, what to look out for when you're buying some of this stuff. So, let's try and tear into this here. They glue these pretty hard, I'll tell you that. Well, right away, looks like there's some good packaging in here. It's It was definitely packaged better than uh, all of my, uh, what is it, Rebel Clash stuff from Pokemon. So, it's packaged pretty nicely. I have to give them that. Now, their reputation in Amazon is, is high, so that's good. So what goodies do we have in here? Alrighty then. So we got the Ikoria Lair of Behemoths booster box. And it has all of the original wrapping on it. Doesn't look like it's been messed with in any way. Absolutely brand new. Immaculate. Very nice. So this should not have been messed with unless they found a way to like seal these perfectly back up. Which I don't think so. But... I was planning on saving that for an ASMR video because sadly my magic videos do not get very do not get the best views. Mostly it's mostly people from the Pokemon community who uh, watch my stuff, so they don't really care about Pokemon stuff. So here we got another magic Ecorialair Behemoths bundle box. And this looks good. Brand new. No funny business, so that's nice to see. This is what we're going to be opening today, with actual commentary. But not just that. Also got this little packet right here, and I do like that they've had their own separate packet so it's safe. What's in here are two collector's boosters. So, definitely going to have something nice in here, I hope. Two of them, two chances to get a King Ghidra or a Godzilla. Maybe a Gigan or a Mecha Godzilla, although I think Mecha Godzilla is only the Japanese, but either way, I hope I'm wrong because I would love to see that. So, this is King Games uh, calling card, whatever you call it. Kingsgames.com. Free booster pack each time you order a sealed booster box from King's Games. One free pack for each box you order. Packs will automatically be included with your order, no coupon required. That's pretty nice. And just so you guys know, this is not a sponsored uh, segment. It really isn't, even though I showed this. I didn't know they put all this stuff in there, which... This is very nice. This is very lovely. I do appreciate that. Seems like they're on the up and up. And, uh... Yeah. That's pretty cool. Them being that generous, I might actually order from them again. So I assume there's not just the two collector's packs. Maybe there's an extra one in here. I don't know. That would be pretty sick to to see but we'll set this off to the side for the time being we'll open that after this so let me switch the camera angle back to the usual then we'll get started 
All right, everyone, we're ready to go. So let's see what this bundle box has in store for us. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really too fond of uh, this particular set, which is crazy because I'm actually surprised I don't love this set more because I, I love the whole kaiju thing. I'm, I'm a big Godzilla fan and I do love the Godzilla cards and all that, but there's something about the rest of the art in the set and all that that I'm just not, I don't know, it's just not vibing with me to be honest. So we got mutations and how those work. I hear this set's really overpowered from what, you know, other people who play the game and other people who've been opening this set are saying. I think I've already opened one of this before, so don't need to, don't need to go through that again. But, so here we got one of those little stands right there to make it look bigger, but also hold your cards in, which is nice. I do like these. That's pretty cool. I don't really... I don't really make use of those though because I did buy like a big a big one to store all my cards in. So we got a nice another box. More storage. And the innards. More of these orange dice. I do like this one, this oversized dice. Those go very well with the uh, big kaiju thing that they got going. More tokens. How to play the game, different types of Magic playing. Here we got our planes and our Colossification card. Along with, I believe, it's all hollow lands that are in here. I already did open one of these, so I'm just going to leave this sealed for now. Don't know if I'll sleeve them later and whatnot, but for the time being, this is what we're after. And damn, I've always said this before, and it just feels so good just holding all of these packs. Dang, it just feels, yeah, that just feels real nice. Whew, feel like going to do some ASMR with this. And I actually am excited to do the ASMR for that booster box. Because at that point, I can just really enjoy the cards, enjoy the opening, and not really have to worry about commenting. I don't always have something interesting to say, which is... It's kind of what I worry about when I make these videos, but... That's fine. After all, the stars of the show are the packs. Now, why don't we get started and see what we've got. Because I still haven't pulled any actual Godzilla cards. Alright, so we're starting with a King Kong. I forget what they call him in the actual set. I think you can open these like that, no? No, these are actually stiff. Alright, we got a Vivane token, alright. So this time I'm just going to go straight, straight for the money. Because last time I just felt it took too long. And like I said before, I'm not that fond of, I don't know, this artwork is just isn't really doing it for me this time. So we got Exuberant Wolf Bear, Archipelago. that's kind of cool. Creature Leviathan. Sonorous Halbonder, and we got a Mythos of Vadrock. You know, I, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's actually supposed to be um, Desodroya from Godzilla. I'm not too sure, but, I mean, unless it's supposed to be this Vadrock thing, whatever it is. This just reminds me of Desodroya. Swamp and a Human Soldier. Alright. Yeah, I think that's just really how you should be, how you should do magic openings. Because otherwise they just take forever. Like whenever I did the uh, Throne of Eldraine set. That just took a really long time, but man, did I really enjoy that artwork. Okay. Come on. Oh my, I got a Majestic Oricorn. Got a Flame Spill. An Easy Prey. Looks kind of cool. And we got a Yorion Sky Nomad. I don't think this one's near the top. Ooh, we got a nice hollow here. Fire Prophecy, just a common, but pretty neat looking. And a Rugged Highlands. 
Now I think the triomes are the ones that um, are the ones that are really worth something. Let me make some more room here. I'm gonna put I'll put the hollows right here. You know what? I'll put them over here. All right. But yeah, the uh, I think there's several types of triomes, but I think those are the ones that uh, are really worth. I think those are the ones that are really worth something because they're triple land, so they're uh, people do want them. This looks kind. Of, that's a sick trophy. Catch all the competitive action on YouTube. That's a pretty nice trophy. Wouldn't mind having one of those on a mantle or something. Okay. So here we got Glowstone Recluse. A spider card, Ominous Seas, Parcel Beast, and Lava Brink, Venturer. Not one of the top cards. It's nothing yet. I know that, uh, I know these are crazy times we're dealing with right now. Not just the whole virus, but uh, the other situation I don't want to get into. So I just hope you guys are able to relax with these videos, you know, and have a little bit of respite, you know, clear your heads. We got a Savai Triome. Is this one? Now this is a triple land right here. So this one should have some value. I'm not sure, but I'll be posting the prices on the video and post. So Bloodfell Caves. This isn't one of them, right? Nope. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Companion token. All right. But yeah, it's uh, definitely, I know it's definitely hard for people to focus right now, probably. So yeah, I just hope you guys are enjoying the videos. You're able to just uh, take a load off. Maybe enjoying the ASMR videos I made to help you guys relax, maybe fall asleep. Oh, dude, and we got a mythic. Winota, joiner of forces. I don't know if this one's near the top. Shouldn't be all the top cards that are for the high prices or the Godzilla cards. So this one could still be worth a few bucks, maybe. You never know. And we got a hollow Dreamtail Heron. Pretty nice hollows. All right, over here. And a scoured Baron's land. All right. All right. Here, what we got next? Ooh, that looks cool. Cavern Whisperer. You now, some art does look neat. I'll admit that. So we got a Horn Bash Mentor. A Storm Wild Caprador, Dire Tactics, and a Kogla, the Titan Ape. I've gotten this one before and it's not a it's not a great pull. Not really worth much. What is that? You guys see that? There's like a white line going down there like some kind of some kind of print error or something? That's not cool. At least it's not one of my expensive cards. Which I have yet to pull, but you know, we'll see. Okay. Man, they package these tight. But there's no funny business on these. I don't think so. I mean, it looked like it was all on the up and up, so. Hopefully that's the case. Okay. Got a General's Enforcer. Ooh, Insatiable Hemophage. That looks pretty cool. That actually looks pretty neat. A Splendor Mare. That looks sick. Like, freaking... What's that deer Pokemon from... I forget his name. But, it reminds me of him. And we got... A Mythic. Legendary Creature. Eluna, Apex of Wishes. I don't know if this is a top one. 
but it's pretty cool looking. Pretty epic. Kind of like some kind of god creature or something. Legendary creature, beast, elemental dinosaur. That's pretty neat. Hey, and we got a hollow rare. Quartzwood Crasher. Man, that's pretty nice. I don't know if this one's really worth anything, but it looks nice. And it's a hollow rare, so that's cool. Sick. And I haven't been, um, I haven't been putting these in the sleeves, and I should, probably should. Let me just take a moment to do all that. All right, on to the next pack. So tell me, everyone, what's your your preference on these? I mean, I know my uh, magic videos don't do very well. So I imagine the people who do come and watch them are from watching them from, like, you know, outside of my subscribers. But, uh, you know, what, if it's new to you guys, you know, is there any, what do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? I'm going to, con I'm going to continue to do magic videos. I just like opening these cards. It's nice to do something else other than Pokemon. Polywog Symbiote. Dusk Fang Mentor. I like that. I like the colors on this. Obviously, I love purple. It's a very pretty looking card. Proud Will Bonder. And Inspired Ultimatum. I've gotten this one before, it's not much. We got two more left. But yeah, it's funny because I actually wasn't trying to be a Poketuber. The uh, I wasn't actually trying to do just Pokemon and stuff like that. It just ended up being that way because, I mean, if you're going to do Pokemon products and you want to keep up with it but also do other things, it's... Pokemon's going to take up most of your time. They just come out with so much stuff that it is hard to keep up. Especially if you're like me and you do one video a week. Because that's all I have time for. Rogren, Rogren's Crystal. Footfall Crater. Auspicious Sterix. And we've got a Sky Cat Sovereign. For rare. Neat card, but not the money we're looking for. All right, we are down to our last pack. Hopefully we could see something nice out of here, but hey, if we don't, we got a few other packs that could possibly give us what we want. All right. And our Cummins. All right. These cards do feel really nice to go through, though. We got a Sprite Dragon, very colorful. We got a Will of the All Hunter. Pretty sick. We got a Cunning Night Bonder. And we got a Sea Dasher. Octopus is rare. Very nice. What is it? What do they call this? Extended Art? Man, that is a nice looking card. I'm, I'm liking the colors here. This uh, greenish blue. It's another color I like. Dang. Imagine seeing this in a hollow. We got a Plains and our Buy More Magic. Well, as far as this box goes, these have been our best pulls. We got two. We got two, uh, what do you call these again? Two Mythics, okay. So, Winota, Drino Forces, Eluna, Apex of Wishes, and a Hollow Rare Quartzwood Crasher. Now, I'll be posting all the prices on the video. I don't know what they are beforehand, so I'd probably have better... Well, reactions if I knew beforehand. But, now that we're done with this, let's move on to our special cards. So let's see if they actually gave us more than just the two collector's boosters that I, I knew I was going to get. Okay. Sticky. Right, so we got, looks like we just got our two collector's boosters from what I can see in here. Anything else? Nope. Yep. So these are our two collector's boosters. And they are a nice hollow orange color. Alright, so let's see if we can get some awesome Godzilla cards out of these. I really want to see those. I really want to get them. Like I said before, I am a Godzilla fan. Not massive or anything, but I've seen the movie since I was a kid. I've just loved them. Really incredible. Okay. 
Yo, are you seeing this right now? There's like some kind of uh, printing roller error or something on, on these cards here. Dang, I hope it's not like that all the way through. That would be a shame. Alright, so we got our... We got a hollow cat. Ooh, that looks kind of neat. Facet reader. Imposing Vantasaur. Ventitative connection. We got a cavern whisperer. It's kind of neat. We got a boneyard lurker. Get an ominous seas. Oh, I like the dreariness on that one. That one has a nice. That one just has a nice art to look at. That one's really cool. We got a foil land. We got a title, Barracuda. And I think this, you know, the symbol is different if you've noticed. I believe this is from their uh, commander decks. And if you don't know what commander is, it's uh, essentially how you play it. I don't know exactly how you play it, but I know there's like an oversized card that's supposed to be your, your commander, your main character. And this is the symbol for that uh, that deck. All right, so this will just go in the rare pile. Oh, okay. So here's our mythic, Riel, the Everwise, extended art, legendary creature, human wizard. That's pretty cool. Look at the background on that. Those those energy orbs or whatever is going on back there. That's pretty cool. See the price on that later. And we got a legendary creature, Mythic, Cheville, Bane of Monsters. So I guess he's uh, a monster hunter, so to speak. Okay. So, okay. so we got a Cloud Piercer. Well, I guess that would go here in the comment pile. A Pouncing Shore Shark. And we got a legendary Planeswalker. Narset of the Ancient Way. That's pretty nice. I do like this uh, lavender type of look for the extended art on this. That's pretty nice. That's a very nice looking card. Alright. And we got a baby Godzilla. Ruin Reborn. Now I think these are pretty... Well, it's an uncommon card, but you'll see them a lot in these collector's packs from what I've seen. That's, that's neat. I <laughs> like that. Creature, frog. Okay. Each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card, then discard a card. I wasn't paying attention to a single thing I read. All right. <laughs> Pretty cool. And here we have a hollow Liga, uh, regal sword, Leo sword. There's a lot of tongue twisters in this set. Dinosaur cat. But that's neat. Okay. You know, I get it's not a, like a, a awesome pool or anything like that, but I'm going to count it as being a pool because it's in the Godzilla card. All right, guys, this is our last one and our last chance to pull something real sick. Still hoping for some Godzilla cards. Even that common Godzilla freaking death virus card. I hope I get that. So yeah, it looks like all the top ones have this kind of printer roll line on them. That's very weird. But all right, we got a nice looking feather. Got a blister spit gremlin. Got a mascot goriak. Got a dranith stinger. Some pretty sick artwork right there. Got a memory leak. That's kind of cool. We got a Frill Scare Mentor. Got a Proud Will Bonder. Got a Hollow Forest. Very pretty. A Manscape Refractor. Wait, Manscape. Okay. Uh, I thought I said Manscape. Alright, that was, that was weird, but that's pretty nice. And this is part of the Commander deck, it looks like. The Karuga, the Macro Sage. Ooh, dang, look at this. Abosh the Prey Piercer. A hollow extended rare. 
Hellion Horror. That actually, that actually looks really cool. I like that extended hollow look. It just kind of makes it look metallic. That's really sick. All right. Majestic Oricorn. We got a Vilpkeet, just to come in. And we got a Cub Warden for the rare. Pretty bad looking cat. We got a Dorat, the perfect pet, is an extended uncommon. Ah, oh, come on, please let the last card be a Godzilla card. Nope. We got a Parcel Beast. Hollow. Now the hollow on this is pretty cool. Like, not all of it is hollow. Or at least some of it is like muted hollow. And then we got these, these hollow streaks coming out and all that. Man, that's, man, that's really cool looking. But, as cool looking as that is, we did not pull any really sick Godzilla cards. Now, that's a big letdown. I mean, there's gotta be something in that booster box. But, that's for next time, guys. That's most likely going to be an ASMR video, which I'm fine with. I'm going to enjoy that. So if you guys like this video, remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell button for more content, and remember to keep on collecting and keep on sharing. I'll see you guys next time. Yes, America. <laughs> <laughs>